It's running away over the outfield into the fence for four. What a start by Lara. In 1993, Brian Lara from Trinidad hit the headlines with 277 against Australia. But rather than the physical destruction wrought by Richards, Lara relied on quick footwork and perfect timing. One player I wouldn't want to get going against us is Brian, because once he gets going, he, he controls the pace and the momentum of the game so well. And go, great shot. His footwork, his back lift, flair, consistency, scoring big runs is just unreal. Lara showed a single-minded determination in his batting, and in 1994, against England, he set his sights on breaking Gary Sober's record for the highest ever test score. I was playing last test against England 1994. We'd already won the series. Good batting track. If there is a record that is attainable, Brian will have a go. Where maybe you'd say Viv, I think he was a better batsman, but Viv was only driven to dominate. So if he could dominate for a period, see his team to a good position, the record, wherever it stood, had no interest to him. Whereas Brian would add that to what he wanted to do. And there's his 150. But I have a sneaky feeling that he set his stall out from the minute he got to about 150. His brain works at a phenomenal speed. I think he would have done his mathematics in his head and set his stall out from as early as that. Here comes Chris Lewis to Brian Lara. He's gone for a pull, and there it is. Brian Lara's done it, the ball rockets into the back. Sobers was one of the first onto the field to congratulate him. Lara had played with typical finesse and style and was finally out for 375. And later that summer, while playing for Warwickshire, Lara went further. Smashing the record for the highest ever first class score with an unbeaten 501. Somebody can make 500 in a first class game. You know, teams don't make that, full teams. If a team makes 500, it's a monumental score for a team. And yet Lara had the mental strength and the ability to do that. Hardly ever perspired, hardly ever looked tired when making those runs, he was something else, he really was. By breaking these records, Lara attracted worldwide attention. With a global market for cricket expanding, he exploited his new celebrity status. This is now the age of globalization. This is now a different political and economic world. And Brian straddles these two worlds. He reflected the, the, the commitment, the anxieties of the nationalist period coming after Viv Richards and Clive Lloyd. But at the same time, he's, he took the team and cricket into the age of mass television, internet property rights, the player.